watching News 8. The Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce is partnering up with pencils and paper for a school supply drive coming up this summer. And I'm delighted to welcome to the program uh, from uh, the Greater Rochester Chamber the Strategic Initiatives Manager, Adrian Hale, along with the Pencils and Paper Program Coordinator, Howard Grossman. Great to have you both in studio. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, pencils and Paper, Howard, let's start with you. Tell us what this is and where the idea came from. Pencils and Paper is the newest program of Jewish Family Service which has been around for about a hundred years and they do a food cupboard and a clothes cupboard and a natural extension was getting supplies to kids in need in our community so every kid has pencils and crayons and markers to start the school year. Right, those things and you say some other supplies as well. What types of things do you gather for pencils and paper? As we started doing this I was amazed at the need in our community for our children. Mm -hmm. Things like band-aids, hand sanitizer, Things that you just wouldn't think of, Kleenex, toweling, are needed in the classrooms and we help supply them to teachers to help kids in need in our community. Well, you got a great partner here with the uh, Greater Rochester Chamber. Adrian, talk about uh, penciling up, or, or partnering up rather, with pencils and papers. Uh, why it's a great fit and how folks can get involved. Um, so I think we all know about the epidemic with the Rochester City Schools, right? Um, but it's operational efforts like pencils and paper that I think are really important because they service direct needs. And so for us, I think getting business involved was a no-brainer because, I mean, there's no lack of supplies and things, we excess things we're just not using. And so why not redistribute those and employ them in our schools so they can have good use? Talk about the students that benefit from this and what mm. they represent to our community. So I was one of those students at one point, right? A couple of the schools that I went to growing up have received supplies from pencils and paper and so to me it's kind of coming full circle um, because I know I had a number of people looking out for me teachers coaches or whatnot so now being in my role at the chamber and partnering with people like pencils and paper it's kind of like giving back you know from where I came from so I it, it love the sounds of it if, if folks are watching they like the sounds of it as well mm -hmm. how do they get involved it's really easy go to our website www.pencilsandpaper.org Click on I want to do a supply drive. We'll get you a supply box and then fill it up with our most needed items, crayons or glue sticks or pencils or band-aids, yeah. and we'll get them out to teachers and kids. Hey, good luck with it. Thank you guys for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Here is the date you need to know uh, because it's coming up. August 10th is the deadline for this school supply drive. So act now. As Howard said, go online, head to their website, and get involved and do a great thing in our community this summer. If you missed that link, it's pencilsandpaper.org. We're sharing it on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.